children only. And mothers, if they get lonely. The Pennsylvania State University presents Key to the Cupboard. Which, when we get there, will not be as bare as it was for old Mother Hubbard. Our program for today, Seeing Something Simple, Building Peep Shows. Hello, boys and girls. Do you know what this is I'm holding in my hand? Well, you look at it once. A bottle cap? Did I hear you say? Oh, no. It may look like a bottle cap, and it may feel like a bottle cap, and it may be even capable of capping a bottle, but it's not a bottle cap, at least not for today. It's a, well, what it is depends upon you. For on today's program, we're going to help you see such things as bottle caps and drinking straws and buttons and the like in an entirely different way. For today, we're going to be making peep shows. Who are we? Well, I'm Mr. Mattel, and then standing by over there is our good friend, Miss Alice. And as usual, there are some children just your age on this show, and they'll be looking at bottle caps and a lot of other things as if through a new set of eyes. Now let's open the cupboard and see if Francois, he's the mouse who lives here, you know, see if he can help us find the materials we need to make peep shows, bottle caps. Bottle caps, say what? Shh, pet, pet, pet. Oh, Francois, what have you done? He had fun, that's all. He had lots of fun. Want some of these, Mr. Mattel? For a bottle caps, really, I've had my fill. Well, as a matter of fact, these are exactly what we need. Then you may have them. You may indeed. In fact, I'll get you a couple dozen more. Oh, say wait. No, don't go. Oh, where did he go? Oh, I wonder where he went. Look out below! Now, Francois, you look here, young man. Listen here, young fellow. Mr. Mattel, please don't bellow. Oh, your voice sounds like a thousand thunderclaps. Anyway, you should be happy to have all these bottle caps. Yes, but I didn't expect to get them all in one big crash. Well, anyway, I'm happy to be rid of so much trash. Well, bottle caps aren't trash, Francois. In fact, I was just saying that they're not even bottle caps. Come again? Well... I have my eardrums collapsed. Let me hold one up. Now, what do you see? Well, if I don't see a bottle cap, then you don't see me. I thought so. It's not your hearing that's affected. It's your sight. Ha! Huh. That's nonsense. You cannot be right. Why? I could see a blackbird on the blackest night, or a rocket flying up at a very great height. My vision is perfect. I'm 2020, which means of eyesight, I have plenty. Oh, I think we'd better make a check on your vision. Ha! You talk as if I had been involved in a collision. You just wait. I'm going to send you an oculist. Just have a little patience. An oculist? Good heavens! I'll be getting inoculations. That means shots in the arm or in my thigh, perhaps. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll make use of all these bottle caps. Well, boys and girls, I want to show you what peep shows are all about. You know, a peep show tells a story in a box. And every peep show, well, it's a kind of miniature. That means it's a small copy of something big. And that's why in a peep show, Ordinary things like bottle caps or buttons, such as I have here, these can become something different. And sometimes they seem well, just as large as a house. Now let's look at this peep show in a box. It shows us the materials that we need. This is made in a shoe box like this. And the first thing you need to do is to cut a hole here in the front so that you can put your eye to that and peep inside. And then, of course, you need to let some light in when the lid is on so you cut openings. It can be in the top can be in the sides or the back, just various size openings and cover those with cellophane. 
This one I have here has had yellow cellophane placed over it, and that gives it a wonderful glow when we peep inside. If you want to, uh, red cellophane or blue cellophane gives a different kind of a light, and it's, it makes it very interesting to, to change the colors. Now, inside I arrange all these small things that we've collected. For instance, for this zoo scene, I took a berry box from the grocery store here, and it was just exactly right to make the cage for our monkey inside, who's made of wire, just wrapped around with some uh, yarn. And then little pieces of greenery look like trees when they become miniatures in our peep show. So with a sign, our zoo scene is completed that way. Let's look at some of the materials I have collected over here, and these may give you some ideas of things that you can find around your house. Oh, things like matches and toothpicks and drinking straws, or a bit of, of wire like this. Feathers and buttons are exciting to have to make things from for peep shows. Uh, small boxes of all kinds are good for furniture. Uh, you'll want some bits of cloth and paper and then gather some natural materials like uh, bits of evergreen and branches from trees and then of course bottle tops you've heard Francois talking about them a bit of sponge here and small rocks well just anything that you can find in the kitchen or uh, out in the garden that you will need collect those things and then arrange them in your box in any way that you want to make your things very much individual and very much your own do you see here a, an indoor scene? We can paint things on the wall of our box here. We've put a, a small picture, and these chairs have been made from tiny pill boxes and a little house plant here from Evergreen. And do you know what the lamp is made of here? Why, that's the top of a glue bottle. So you see, the secret lies in just seeing ordinary things in a different way.